Now the story of a wealthy family who lost everything and the one son who had no choice but to keep them all together. It's Arrested Development. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I have a game here, and it is uh, Fresh as Britons versus J.D. R. Gonzalez on Arabia and ranked. So 1v1. Let's see how James does. You never know. So we'll analyze every little detail. Oh, I like uh, that starting gold is super nice. You haven't really discovered it yet, but you got all your bills out. You're queuing up. But you're going to have a nice gold right by two wood lines, which is, I think, a really nice area to protect. And really, I know you don't see that, but a simple wall there, and you have all this too, so. Uh, not too bad. You got everything going. Nice. You scouting. Scouting's going pretty good. Using a sheep. Using all your sheep. Oh, did you miss that boar? I'm sure it'll move, but that's a little tough luck. You found the other one there. There it is. Okay, so yeah, you'll see it when it comes out. And overall, not too bad. You got your, what, six on food. Going down to this wood line, perfect. You'll see all your gold. You know that's a good spot. In the back, he just goes and starts chopping wood. All right. Got a second one. Is it just going to start chopping wood, too? Because if so, uh, that'll be pretty uh, interesting. What do you think about that, Vera? Three just chopping wood and then walking back to the TC. Oh, this is this is going to be one of those kinds of games, huh? I guess so. Yeah, Vera. Did you know that uh, four just going back and chopping wood? Uh, what are you doing? Are you just focusing on scouting that much that you forgot to put down a lumber camp? And then... Okay, and going to get the boar. All right, that's good. That's good. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone forget to put down a lumber camp. I've seen like mistakenly putting down mining camps or like accidentally putting down a mill or some of that kind of stuff. Okay, still got bills queued. You both are doing really good on idle TC time. Uh, 16 food left. All right, so well timed. Well timed. You didn't lose your, your guy, so that's all right. Building your house. You Did you get housed or you were close to? I think you're okay. Nice. That's good timing. You just don't have a uh, lumber camp. All right. Is what it is. Did you not find those guys yet? All right. You missed your two sheep. Also very unfortunate positioning. So, uh, good luck. Yeah. Can you believe that he missed those sheep and he didn't put down a lumber camp? Okay. Meanwhile, this blue guy's base, straggler trees. Oh, he didn't get a lumber camp either. What kind of game is this? Look at this chaos. He has all 15, all 16. You guys are doing good on idle TC time. You guys are doing good saving. You don't want to spend all your resources. That's it. You're trying to save up resources so you can get... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, all right. You're spending time uh, not putting down, deciding whether to put down a lumber camp or not that you didn't want to, you forgot about your guy. All right, Blue decided to get a lumber camp down first. All right, all right. Way to go, Rodriguez. Way to go. All right, let's see. Up, oh, and the response time is better. Oh, and now oh, you saw Blue got one, and so you wanted to get one too. All right. And, uh, taking the long way around, up, up, okay, that was a little bit close, but you made it. And now you got three on wood there, and one chopping a straggler, and, uh, all right, three on food, that's fine. You should be okay. I mean, you lost a vill to, to, 
you know, the boar. All right, so he's going to gold. Getting his houses up. Oh, did he get housed? He's getting loom. All right. You are not going to get housed because you lost one already. And then let's see if you get loom. Up, oh, you found your extra sheep. And you are housed. All right. So uh, let's see if you switch to loom or anything. And you're going scouting. Making an interesting shape there. Very interesting shape. And uh, you're 10 food short. All right, five going up to feudal. Going up. Nope, you're going to make more villagers and then loom and then go. I'm sure you'll fix that. Maybe. 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 He's going up. You're still, you're still making villagers. Maybe that's your plan. Is Britons make all your villagers and loom and then go? Up. Ah. Yep, you're still just making more villagers and idle TC and idle eco time. Hi, Hira and loom. All right, you just wanted to get to that population, I guess. Barracks in a house. He's pretty far up and he's hunting. Like that, which is a terribly inefficient way to do it. You'd think you'd send like four on one and then four to another one. Instead, you got nine going to one. Carry capacity is all terrible. Oh, or you're going to do it like that. Ah, okay. Well, I guess that's better than spending the time and wasting them walking around. You're finally going up to feudal now. You got your barracks down. And... Gonzalez reached feudal, and down come the walls. Here goes some of your walls. All right, so you're trying to claim a little bit of a hill, hill action. It's not not too bad. Try to get one side, especially your uh, safe side, kind of off. But you're pretty far out there. It's a, it's a lot of space to try to wall. All right, so you're realizing where he is. All right, you finally found him. So not too bad. All right, and you're deciding where to go. So that's all right. And his base, he's got that forward gold. Oh, man. Could you imagine putting a tower down over here on this hill? Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. And he's found you. All right, so we find each other now. And Fresh has made it a feudal. And then are you going to put down your archery ranges? Are you going to put down archery ranges as Britons? Alright, there's one. Building it with just one villager. And he is in feudal has been... Oh, he's getting supplies. Ah, nice. Did he get his eco upgrade? I missed it if he did. He's got... A lot on gold, but he sounds like he's making... Alright, man at arm, militia, man at arms, alright. So he's going for the late man at arms rush. <laughs> Which is alright. To each their own. We got one, one archery range going up. And start producing maybe one. Uh, you only got a few on gold, so you're focusing on getting your wood eco going. And, uh, what else is happening? Blue's just scouting. And he's got his, alright, he's got man at arms going. He's getting a blacksmith. He's still got a few on gold. He made that one wall there for no reason. And Fresh is trying to get his walls up. Which will be nice. I mean, it would be nice to have some protection. If he has to go all the way around here, it gives you a lot of time to, to react. So, if nothing else, it buys you a lot of time. You got a lot better on gold. Second archery range, alright. 
It'd be nice to see one blacksmith too. Just take a couple of these guys off of wood, make a blacksmith, and then put them back on. And I'll mark it on the gold. Maybe part of a future wall or something. And here come the two men at arms, and this wall is not going to be completed in time. Let's see the reaction time. Is he going to pick off this bill? Probably. And reaction. Any reactions? Any reactions? Dodging around, trying to get some walls? Nope, nothing. All right. And he does not have any upgrades other than that. Oh, man. Picking them off. Two kills? And there's no reaction. You got, you got archers up here. You got hill advantage if you would go up there. All right, there's the reaction. Turning them around. Bring them towards your archers. Unfortunately, these two guys just wandered off into the wrong direction. And they decided to attack a wall, which you are fixing. Which is very interesting. And he's buying food. To get up to castle, probably. And fresh. You got the archers, alright. So yeah. You can complete your wall. Once that's complete, you'll feel probably a lot safer. Uh, you're making some more farms. Maybe to try to boost up your eco and get up to castle too, is what I would guess. But he did do some damage. Definitely some idle eco time. And now some idle TC time. And he's going up to castle. And he's starting to make some skirms in uh, response. No more no more man at arms though or anything. So it was just a, just a later man at arms rush. But it was in plenty of time because this Arabia map is huge to wall. You can pretty much know that you're going to make it in. You know, it is, it is too hard to wall all of this area. It, honestly, if I was going to do it, I would have just made one line from here up to your TC and forced them to go up around your TC, and then maybe something back over here or over there uh, with your buildings instead of going all the way out. I mean, you don't get your hill advantage, but you can always build out to your hill later. At least if you go straight across, that's half of that way and that way I don't know that I would have gone out all that way too and uh, oh so you did go with your archers and nice sorry I missed some of that talking about walling and that's a good rush he's going to be in castle in just a few seconds and you're not even on your way up I would buy up but you pushed him all off of his wood line which he's was making skirms Alright, so he's got four skirms, four verse eight. Eh, you're going he's getting town dropping a town center, that's gonna be rough. But he's got no wood supply now, so he's not gonna be able to get a, a third one if he wanted to get a third one. And he's not gonna be able to pump out any more skirms really. So if you can keep him off of that, he'll uh, he'll be able to make something else with food and gold, but you know we'll get there when we get there. Not not trading too well. I'll just save it. Save your guys. Go to the hill. Go to the hill. He's going to be getting stone. Alright. You know that now, though, at least. And run away. That's fine. We could maybe take a pot shot when when uh, you had the hill advantage. I mean, he, doesn't, he does have the armor. So he's going to be doing better. He queued up more bills. You queued up some more bills. You're also on your way up to castle. And they're going to wander. Meanwhile, your eco's not doing too bad. And you're getting archers queued. You got eight archers queued, so you're ready for a second go-round. He doesn't have any more military queued. Alright. And if he would... Alright, but his... Oh, you didn't finish up over there. I missed it. Did he get another kill of who was building the wall over there? 
You very well might have. And like eight more archers. Ow. Yeah, even a couple more queued. Nice. And your guys stopped, and they're gonna. Oh, he's turning around. Alvanzo Aladid La Castillos. He made it to Castle Age. Oh, is there a hole there now? Oh, fresh. Don't let there be a hole there. I hope that doesn't come back to bite you. Up, 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 up. Uh, university, all right. Get ballistics. You got your bodkin, crossbow. You're ready to take out this scout. Or to walk right out of your walls. He's got a few skirms, but... Uh, he's queuing up a few more. He sees that you're... Probably saw that you were ready with his scout. Unless that's just not a scout for him. Which it might be. Yeah, probably so. Since it's just getting all the blank areas. Yeah, there's no way he's controlling that. And you got a decent, decent sized force here. Now, he's been in Castle Age for a while, and he's been mining stone. He has enough for a castle. Is he going to do something with his advantaged time other than work on eco? It doesn't really seem like it. He hasn't upgraded his spearmen. He hasn't gone to long swords or whatever. He's still just man at arm. Ah! He hasn't dropped a castle, and here you come with your archers. So, uh, at least you built up your force and made something worthwhile as soon as you got to that age. You're voiding the TC, great. And he doesn't have any towers or TCs on wood. Oh, and you're just picking them off. Oh, he was planning a, a forward castle drop. Oh, this seems like a mistake. You have an, an enemy just killing your base. Why would you want to go for a forward castle drop? I feel like that's something I would do. But, uh, you know, probably still not the best decision. Now, you got your university, probably to get ballistics. Why don't you go get it? Oh, and he's and you didn't notice him leaving. He's going to get that castle up and it'll be in range of a barracks. Probably not that, you know, effective. Probably way more effective to be denying your your person wood. So you see there's no one here at this wood line. I would start looking around. You know he's got someone else he's going to be trying to get skirms out. But you've got the extra attack. Up oh, and he's going for that Imperial Skirm. He knows he needs it. Hopefully, it's a, you could get out there if you had to. Escape. Alright, and you push him off of wood. Perfect. Ah, and there he goes. He's going to need that extra wood income. A safe wood income. So he hit his guys away. I'm surprised he's just not trying to take that fight. I mean, I know he's outnumbered, but still. And here he goes. He's making a push with his one man at arm and guy. And oh, and he found he's going straight over to this gold. All right, all right, all right. Meanwhile, keeping him off of wood over there. Hill advantage to take out those guys. I mean, great. Now this, I would just push it. Just push it. He's got a little bit, but he's out of wood. You've been keeping him off the wood for so long, he's got nothing else. Until he gets his TC completed. And he's got a new gold supply. Do you have any more army? You're queuing up a few more, alright. And you got tons of food, tons of gold. Maybe consider uh, dropping one stable and just getting a few nights out just to raid. You can start preoccupying with raiding. I learned that trick from Zach yesterday. If you just send a, two knights to do circles around his TC, then, uh, you know, it'll preoccupy all of his APM trying to catch them. 
Yep, and just keep moving those guys back and forth. Keep them off of those wood. And then use your wood. I guess you can go up to Imp now. If you're not going to use your food for anything else. You have had... You're making TCs. Or you're making Vills. Which he has not also. You've been keeping him off of that. He's got some more just now. But he's been having a super high idle TC time. Oh, also he has two, three TCs. And you're just still on one, but... Overall, he's content with just letting you... I don't know why he's sending people back out today. He knows you're back there. You fixed your wall to be out, outside of his range. Oh, what's this? Queuing up petards. How much damage does that do? Okay, it'll take a decent amount. Too much. Too much, honestly. And he's buying food. Alright, you're finally going up to Imp. Perfect. You're going up to Imp and can probably continue your archer production. He's going to try to petard down your your archer range, but I think that you could, if you were really worried about it, you could send a vil to repair. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, perfect. And he does have 10 on 12. I would avoid this battle. That's not going to be good for you. He doesn't have ballistics. Run away. That isn't. That's not a good. Not a good fight. I'd rather keep your guys alive somehow. Meanwhile, he's pumping out gold now. All close by. And that's just not gonna. Not gonna end well for you. No matter how well you try to micro. And he gets the Forge Siege Workshop down. I just wish that you would tech into anything else. Either a Forward Siege to put pressure, uh, some Knights to do something. You have all this food. All this food. Even if you don't want to waste the gold on Knights, just make some Light Cav. Defensive Castle's great. So you got enough stone there. But, man... I think if you could raid this, the game would be over. If you had kept your, you know, just, you don't even need to keep, the, keep those guys. You have enough archers here, you can go oh, buy that gold, raid around, and, because you know he's going to be on gold somewhere, and just might like Cav and look around. He's got his skirms. But he puts down a siege workshop and doesn't do anything with it. Even though, uh, I guess he's pretty light on wood. How could he be that light on wood? Oh, he hasn't made villagers in forever. That's why. Because, uh, vill count, you guys are about even. Uh, he wanted to rush up to Imp also. Got a bunch of guys just standing around. Not busy stuff. And there you go. You're going to start the long walk over. Oh, not over. Probably straight up to the castle. I'll just make a treb. There you go. He's got hill advantage, but... I mean, if you wanted hill advantage, you could try to go up to over here and then pack and go. But I'd probably just stay safe. You got arbs. He's not an imp yet, so you know you could have the time. I'll just go attack. Try to take out those two guys so he doesn't have anybody. Oh, he's got a bunch of skirms in there, though, so you do have to worry about that. And... Alright, he's got some... So he started Vill production again, at least. He's got the Vill lead. But you've got, I think, what matters. There you go, perfect. Perfect. You got range. Oh yeah, your Britons. You could get some longbows out there. Rams and Treb. Perfect. Oh, he's Teutons. Ah, there come the knights. That's the one advantage of being a... a it's still going to go down. Oh no. Did you bonk your head? Hey, 
and we're back. And there down goes the castle. And you're in good control. I mean, you've got all advantage now. You know, he put that castle in the one valley. You would think you would just put it there. I'm annoyed by that. And good job. Way to keep him off. I'll pick off some vills while you're at it. It's going to go up, so don't get too close. But you're... All right, all right. You lost one, two, three, and a half. All right, not too bad. And he's running out of gold over here. Oh, but he's getting... Ah, Cavalier and some Knights. I don't know if it will be enough to take out a mass of people, but it would be enough to go in and give you a really hard time raiding. And are you going to realize that he's out there? Nope. Oh, you never even knew there was a gold out there. Of course you wouldn't go out there then. All right, within range of TC. And let's see. Is he going to wait for all of his... Cavalier to go in there before he raids, or is he gonna? I think that would be most effective. Just give it a second. Let all of his people, if he can just defend, you know, you don't need that town center as some food income, but you can try to defend. It'd be nice if he had another. Well, he doesn't, castles aren't gonna help too much at this point. Because other than your base right, right here where you're protected. You've been relying on that stone gold pile. You know there's another one there. So if you need gold after this, you might be hard pressed to get it. But you're pretty in his face and he has no military to try to take out Trebs. So he's pretty doomed. As soon as his castle goes down, you're full range able to go in there. He needs more than just a few cavalier to really make a difference in this game. Meanwhile, you're floating 3,000 food and just don't want to use it for some reason. There you go. Skirms to take out Skirms. You got enough in Archer Mass. And he got out two Trebs, but that is not going to win. And here goes some of his Cavalier. And they do a little bit of damage, but it's just it's too late. Too little, too late for that guy. Yep, exactly. You take him out, you got all your archer upgrades, your t castles and town centers are going to do great, and you win. So, there was nothing he was going to do then. It was too late for him to try to do anything. He's not going to have food income to try to get his cavalier out. He used all of his gold. I don't think I would even made cavalier there. I think just having a bunch of knights go in and raid would have been more effective than upgrading them to cavs, spending all that resources, and then going in. Because you're not going to want to sit under TCs or castles anyway. So just going in and hitting wood lines and stone mines would have been fine with, you know, even scouts. Nice ball of archers. He was never going to beat any of that. You bear, you did at the end get the uh, advantage there. You floated so many, so much food. So much food. And he was trying to expand. Man, I mean, he didn't realize that he was even over here. I feel like he could have done a lot better of a job. You played a very good... I'll say defensive game, staying within your own, got up Trebs, you built up your Archer Mass, and then you just came down like a sledgehammer at the end. And he had, he was not built up or ready for that at all. So nice job, let's look at some stats. Obviously you won in the military, so you won on everything, except society, but who cares. Uh, units. Nice trades, nice trades. Army high, 57, so nice. And, man, for not being, let's look at society. Your villager max was the same. And your, he made more overall. 
because he kept killing them. Does it show idle eco time? Look at that idle eco time comparison. Three hours versus 26 minutes. That is the difference in the game. Because when you look at these stats and you look at how much you beat him by in every category, except for stone, which is about even, that is ridiculous for about having the same amount of villagers. So you just absolutely had the more efficient eco. Mining your one gold here, not getting pushed off of it, getting your, your uh, wood line here, getting your wood line that was over here, and then just moving your wood lines over. Which, I don't even know which wood line you went over this way for some reason. Oh, for gold. I don't even know what your next wood line was about to be. Maybe you didn't even have one in mind yet. But, ridiculous the amount of idle eco he ta time he had versus your time. And a lot of that came from your archer pressure, then he expanded all the way out here, and then he expanded all the way out there, and he moved with a lot of vills. So you guys, you just forced him to be super inefficient. And also, your idle TC time, if you're going one TC, that's exactly what you have to do. Tiny idle TC time, because it's just as effective as his. Multiple TCs, without spending the resources. Uh... Feudal time, he won in all those, but again, like when we looked at his castle time, he didn't even do anything in early castle to make a push or anything. It was all, he was still reactive to you. So, nice game. Good job, Fresh. Keep up the good work.